Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back to our channel. We got some bison in the background there. As you guys can see, it is definitely getting to be summer here. Leaves are out and the mosquitoes are out too. They came out last weekend in full force, so we're having to deal with them. And the bison are dealing with them too. In fact, I just put some of that uh, diatomaceous earth right where Thor's laying down there now. So they seem to go wherever that's located. Helps keep the flies off, mosquitoes. We'll see if we can get some fly spray here uh, one of these days. Maybe that might help a little bit too. Morning, Harold. We just had ourselves like three, four days of uh, on and off rain. So this is the first time I've had a chance to get out and actually do some work outside. Today we're gonna to be putting up some more of those fence rails on that wooden fence. Hoping to have that done maybe this year, we'll see. So I've managed to get a couple more rails up on the... Yeah, we hear you. Get a couple more rails up on the fence here, mostly along the base here, you can see, just to kind of get the level and, uh, you know, placement. We hear you. So, got a little bit more of a gap over here, but these are the rails that we're gonna be putting in, and uh, those are just extra rails that are too short. We'll see what we can put up here and uh, try to get a little bit more progress done today. Not using anything fancy to hold these rails on. Eight inch long, three eighths inch thick leg bolt and a three eighths inch washer, all galvanized so that they hold up to the weather a little bit better. So I just basically eyeball it. I started out with about eight inches and then uh, 10 inches. Eight inches for the first couple and then 10 inches, but uh, after a while you just get to eyeball it. Just wanna make sure it looks good. I got some odd ground over here and especially over there. So sometimes you gotta go with what looks better rather than perfectly level. But so far it's turning out pretty good. And there we are, one more in.
Kirby, you look a little ragged. You gotta get rid of the rest of that winter coat, huh? Yeah? Man, you must be hot. There's Piper being a good puppy on the right side of the fence. Yeah. You don't want to come over here, do you? Apparently the chicken doesn't care. Now you stay there now, yeah. You've got to stay on that side. Well, folks, so there's today's work. We got this section done, this section done. That one was already done, but I'll take credit for it, too. And then managed to get a few more up on this side here. So we're getting there. Only this little bit here to go. And then this temporary wire fence can come down. I'll have a little bit more space. And it brings them just a tad bit closer to the house there where we can see them. And there's our new mama. She just came out from under the porch today. She's got five new babies. And they're all going to hide. So we don't get to see all of them, but trust me, it's five. And then we have this mama here who hatched these two out last week. But I think it's safe to say we got enough chicks now. Add to that 18 ducks, we got a lot of critters running around this place this summer. Of course, I dug a nice pond for these guys, and what do they do? They gotta come and huddle up here by the house. Right next to Piper, who doesn't like the bugs. They found you, huh? Piper, did they find you? <laughs> yeah, they did. You get them, Piper. You get them. Yeah, you'll get them. How about we go in? You want to go in? Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in. Come on. 